Hi everyone, here we've got Kyocera Torque GO3 and let me show you how to add a fingerprint to this device. So first of all we have to find and open the settings, so let's do it. And now let's scroll and find security and location. Now let's tap on this settings icon right here and as you can see we've got the fingerprint option, so let's tap on it. Here we've got the info that you will be able to unlock your device with the fingerprint, uh, but be careful because your fingerprint may be less secure than a strong pattern or a pen, so be aware and tap on next. Here we have to add an additional screen lock. If you have one currently set, then no worries, you will be just transferred to another step. But if not, uh, it is required, so you will have to do it. And as you can see, you can choose from pattern, pen or password. Simply tap on the option you want to use. I think I will pick the pattern, so let's tap on it. Here we've got the uh, secure startup option, so uh, it means that uh, after starting your device, uh, the pattern will be required. So. I don't think I want to turn it on, so I will pick no. And here we have to draw the pattern we want to use. Let's tap on next, redraw it and confirm. Here we've got the notifications option, so we can decide what kind of notifications we want to show on the lock screen. So we can show all the notification content, hide sensitive ones or don't show notifications at all. It's really up to you how you want to set it. This is your decision. Just make sure that the option you want to use is marked like here. So I think I will pick show all notification content. It is marked so I can tap on done. Now we have to uh, start the fingerprint setup, so we have to uh, tap on the sensor, which is located right uh, on the power button uh, on the back, uh, on the, sorry, on the side of our device, so let me do it. And as you can see, now I have to do it multiple times in order to add my fingerprint fully. And remember to try uh, to catch every corner, of course, for better recognition. Okay, and as you can see, I just added our, uh, my fingerprint. So if you want to re rename it, you can do it here. Let's clear the space and let me rename it. If you will have uh, much more fingerprints, then uh, by renaming them, you will be able to uh, recognize them. So if you want to add another, just tap here. If not, tap on done. And as you can see here we are in the settings so uh, for example on the very first position we've got uh, again the options to uh, show notifications or not show them on the lock screen so uh, if you uh, changed your mind and you want to change those options then simply tap here and you've got um, the options and now let's tap on the fingerprint and as you can see here we've got the pattern we just set pattern or a pin uh, whatever you chosen so let's enter it to uh, enter actually the fingerprint section and fingerprint settings. Here we've got the fingerprint we just added. We can manage it so we can tap on it and rename it if you want. And uh, you can also remove it by tapping on the stretch bin icon. And you can add uh, another just by tapping on add a fingerprint. What's more, uh, now we can decide for what we want to use our fingerprint for. And as you can see here, we've got only the screen lock option. Now it, now it is on and uh, if you want to turn it off, just tap on the switcher right here. But I want to leave it like here because um, I want to check the fingerprint if it is working. So let's do it. Let's lock our device. Let's unlock it. And now uh, let me put my finger on the sensor. And as you can see, this device is unblocked, so it means that we successfully added our fingerprint to it. So actually, that's all. This is how to add a fingerprint to your Kyocera Torque G03. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.